In today's Star Wars Showcase, we have the Web Monkey. Shouts out to the wonderful Jane for creating this camera mod, and it's basically what it says it is. It shoots out webs. More specifically, places webs on the track that slows down balloons and can see camo. And as you can see, this tower mod comes with pretty much a full-on complete three pads, five upgrades, and a paragon. So stay tuned to see all those. Also, the map we're playing on is this uh, custom map called Spider. I think it only makes sense to pull out the map editor maps when they really, really fit the theme well. I know it's a bit out of season, but anyways, uh, let's just start and place it down. So what does it do at base? Well, as you see, it's not webs and it doesn't look like it does any damage at all. It's basically a, a glorified glue gunner. That's all right though, because we'll just use our free dark monkey to uh, help pop the balloons and the web monkey is now useful. This isn't just an average glue monkey though, it's kind of a hybrid between, well I guess Spike Factory, or rather a glue factory, I think there was a term on that before. But yeah, considering by the end of each round there's like so many of the cobwebs on track, they definitely hold up a lot of peers before actually going away. Alright, let's see which of these upgrades actually do damage, if any. Uh, I'm looking at each of them, at least the first path, uh, webs are thicker and cover a larger area. Bonner path, webs are thicker and cover a larger area. Okay, I'm just gonna assume they do the same thing. Quicker spinning, looks like it shoots webs faster. None of these are right now really any useful, so we'll just go in order with the top path. And then see what poisonous webs does. So, uh, poisonous webs. The material used to make the cobwebs now uses an even thicker substance that not only affects more balloons, but also does a little bit of damage. Now, this is the upgrade I've been looking for. It's kind of similar to, uh, well, like, so far it's mimicking the uh, top path glue, because tier 2 glue was corrosive glue, so it finally did damage. Does this do more damage? Let's see. Poison becomes acid and melts the balloons like butter. Seems like it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm also really loving the textures on this tower so far, so shout out to Pop Reductions for that, according to the mod credits here. Let's go ahead and buy it now, though, and let's see how much corrosive damage it can do. Perhaps I should sell the Dark Monkey just to get a better glimpse? Sure thing. I probably should have moved Draw to a different spot, but that's also okay. And if you didn't see how, this, how the balloons went around this map, well, it basically takes one loop around the web, the longest part of the web, and then exits on the bottom right side. So overall, pretty easy map. So it looks like we're actually getting Pierce Cap now, so I guess I could use faster spinning webs, shooting them faster. So I want you to take a look carefully at the zero balloons coming in. So it looks like the acid web does like five damage. That's pretty crazy for such a low cost. What does more armies do? Just more attack speed? Sure thing. It looks like round 27 is weakness though, so yeah, not a lot of pierce on these webs, but they do sure pack a big punch. I think we should definitely drop a second one, and maybe this one will focus on the uh, bottom path. Just kind of curious what this does, because it's the exact same description as thick webs. Hard to tell. A anyways, what what's going on this round? Why are there so many webs on the track, but the leads are taking so long to pop? I am confused. Like, watch again. Oh, you know what it might be? It might be that... The, what do you call it? This, this web monkey is actually ruining it because unlike normal glues, this one isn't overriding the current glue that it has. So let me just go ahead and sell this. And it looks like we only damage it once it goes out of the, well, the, the weak glue status. So it'll take a while, but now that all the white glue, white webs are gone, see, we're finally doing damage. I see, I see. In that case, then we should probably put any weaker or every subsequent web monkey a bit further back just until we get like some actual damage on these ones so what does even sticky web stuff do looks like it just slows balloons down even more so again pretty much copying the glue gunner's homework i see like am i wrong this is literally stronger glue on the bottom bottom path tier two i think a 202 is definitely the cross path i want to get let me first see what super web says though well you guessed it it's small glue but webs the only difference so far in all the paths we've seen is that the middle path isn't actually more pierce, it's just simply a faster attack speed. Which I'll take over uh, having more pierce. Now, I'm pretty sure I still need mob damage because it sounds like this thing only uh, will slow down moabs. Let's see if that is true or not. I got a lot of mo extra money to spend if this doesn't end up working, but uh, here we go. Two, zero, three. There we go. As expected, it is doing basically zero damage. It's like ticking for two damage every... Uh, Every what? No, it's not taking at all. Sorry, it is taking, but only for 8 damage. Damn, that's... <laughs> that's pretty weak. So that's unfortunate. And similar to the glue gunner, you can't stack webs. 
So that means I'm gonna actually need to get some real defense for at least round 40 here. I guess just a mall for now until we figure out something else or until it gets, you know, eventually outscaled. By the way, uh, this is uh, this is a pretty OP upgrade for only two thousand dollars. Did you see how, how much it slowed down the Moab? Like, if I guess eighty percent slowdown, if not more. Now, before we start saving up for the big boy upgrades, let's go ahead and showcase the middle path. Tier three. What does it do? Spider eggs. Affected balloons are now covered in tiny baby spiders that spread webs to nearby balloons. Something about spiders creating spider egg just just gives me the ick. But I'm gonna have to buy it for science and. Well, what, what what am I looking at here? Well, first off, we're leaking because this thing can't can't hold the balloons coming in. I'll probably need a poisonous web to actually do some decent damage here. So to me, this upgrade is just the upgrade that gets you to glue every single balloon. Like, make sure nothing gets past. Everything will become glued, even the, you know, stuff that gets unglued after being damaged. I've noticed that after, you know, the ticking of the acid... It, the, the glue's gone. So it's good that we have some backup now, and it's nice that we also have some backup damage, because I'm still leaking, and if I didn't have this for corrosive damage, then... Yes, this could have been ugly. Now, which of these do I look at next? Probably... Again, I want... I need damage, so let's look at Funnel Webbing. Funnel Webbing allows the Web Monkey to spin extremely dangerous web tunnels that can affect more balloons, including bigger balloons, and deal even more damage to them. I hear mob damage, I buy it instantly. Let's get it and let's see if we need the Muller now. Can I take a moment to say how amazing this um portrait art is for the funnel webbing? Looks like it's straight out of a movie. So in order to accurately see the damage to mobs, I'm gonna help go ahead and sell the mob just for this round. To see if funnel webbing can do something. And it definitely is doing something. It's almost beat the Moab entirely. I don't see any status effect on it. I guess that's Part of, I don't know, the upgrade. It looks like the damage over time, though, is pretty nutty. Look at that. Just one-shotting ceramics. Pretty good stuff. And again, for the mob here, we can see exactly how much damage it's doing. It's doing a 20 ticket teams, but... Okay, it's just an invisible DOT. At least uh, during the time that it was ticking damage, there was no, like, visible glue effect on it. All right. And I don't know if it's a bug that the Black Widow upgrade has... Uh, like, no sprite whatsoever. I'll go ahead and read it, though. It's pretty cheap tier 5. Known for its lethal venom, this monkey can spin webs that can affect huge balloons and deal insane damage as well. Safe to say, we can also probably nickname this upgrade as the Web Solver. How's our BFB damage, by the way, without a Mauler anymore? Well, we're slowing down the BFB immensely during this time, which I guess is helping to make Geraldo do more damage. Yeah, you go, Geraldo. Get that three mob damage at a time. Again, because it can't stack, though, I'm pretty sure we're dead. Because the mob will take way too long to, uh, well, uh, pop. In fact, I should probably just get, like, a, what do you call it, a mob glue. If we can't mix two web monkeys together, then just mix its sister tower. So, let's sell, let's get this. And we should be good now, yes. Actually, I can't tell if it's just me, or is the mob glue actually taking away... Like, overriding the effect of the funnel webbing. Because uh, I don't see it take damage over time when there's glue on them. But when you see that the glue is... Oh, the, the glue... It's not even slowing down the mob, I don't think. Hang on, I gotta see this again, guys. So look at the last mob. Yep, it doesn't get slowed down. It's trying to hit it, but... It... It looks like... I think the web monkey is coded as, like, some sort of glue. So I was wrong. This does not synergize well. I'll, I'll just get rid of it. Hopefully by some point, though, we should be able to uh, uh, survive with just the spider monkeys. Not if 62 has anything to say about that. Sure, let's just get them back to Molly then. Also seems like round 63 is no problem, especially not for the, uh, what do you call it, spider eggs? Sheesh. Look at that leg. It's making sure, though. It's really good with that corrosive. Making damn sure none of those serams end up getting past. Although, of course, again, we have funnel webbing to... Hold the line. Let's read what Mob Nest does. Spider eggs can now partially affect Moabs. Perfect. I've been needing mob damage, and I shall, I shall get it. Again, I don't know, man. Something about this tower path gives me the creepy. Is like, look at that, that tower portrait, and just the giant amount of little spiders and spider eggs around these icons here. If I didn't have arachnophobia before, then I definitely have it now. Uh, where is bottom path here for? Robot spinner. Intense web spinning techniques of this monkey robot allow stunning of blooms. So in other words, we could call this the uh, Relentless Spinner. 
Sure. And I guess while we're already here, let's read Merciless Capturer. No balloon would be stupid enough to come near this machine. By the way, I think this upgrade is as close as you can get to Spider-Man without getting sued. I also haven't even got any cross padding for this yet. I'll just do faster spinning. Hang on, if I'm watching this very carefully, it is literally acting exactly like the Relentless Glue because it only seems to stun when a balloon gets popsy. See when those BBs pop the mobs. Stun effect. Otherwise, nothing. I'm also dead and also this tower is incredibly laggy. I mean, go figure considering all the stuff we have on the screen. Maybe just an extra molo to help out. Do some mob damage. Are we good now or do we need more help? I think we're good. Oh my god, barely. Those extra lives from the uh, central market coming in really handy right now. Are we also gonna get a pierce cap this round? Because I feel like we don't have enough purple... Uh, purple webs, and no, we do not. Okay, let's just not overthink this round. That's mail. And I think I, I, think I just want to go for Black Widow now. The damage is too whack, and it's far too leggy if I leave too much stuff out in the open. So here's the Black Widow. She on the Black Cobwebs. But unfortunately, there is still a massive pierce problem. You see, we're already down to 23 lives from that giant ceram wave. How about for the camo ceram wave? I guess in this case, then, maybe an alpha buff would do a little bit handy. That would give uh, three pierce. The cob buff, assuming it, it works on them. It looks like it's working on them. But it could be wrong. Let's see. Uh, again, lots of like. I think it's definitely from coming from the, uh, the spider egg. I mean, nobody said I couldn't go for multiple top path um, when monkeys, right? I think I have to. Just seeing that I can't even beat this stuff here is a very big concern. Just an extra 3 2 zero actually uh, is enough for now. Still don't take any chances, so one more Maelstrom. Just to be 100% sure. And now let's just rapidly read the last upgrade that I didn't read yet. M-O-A-S. The mother of all spiders can spread webs in a larger radius and does more damage. We're probably going to need it considering I'm seeing balloons leak already to 81. Or should we do Merciless Capturer? Each of these sound like pretty interesting options. We'll sell this one because I don't need any more. Sell you, you. I'm so close to affording it. You know what? Let's sell one of these and let's try... You know what? No, I want to see Merciless Capturer. If it if it's going to act like super glue, then I think that would be great. Unfortunately, it's not acting like super glue. It's funny how the description says no balloon would be stupid enough to come near a machine, but they actually would be pretty smart because they can just walk by them. Well, that didn't work, mother of all spiders. How about now? Am I seeing the damage tick up at all? Uh, it actually is ticking up decently. Like, especially once everything's popping here. Come on, 91k. 92. 95. Uh, okay, I will have to say... I will say it is making a little difference. Surprisingly, though, it's pretty underwhelming for a, a tier 5. Even though it is, like, $20,000, 30, $30,000 only. You would expect it to beat the balloons a little bit more cleanly. Now, before I get Merciless Capturer, I'm gonna need to save money for Paragon, so... Should probably continue to build farms. We also have absolutely zero ZMG damage for uh, whatever reason. How about better luck when we roll around the, this pile? Well, it is doing better, but... Damn, that's still uh, not the damage speed slash increase that I've been, I'm hoping for. Might I need a Maelstrom here? Or are we getting up? Gotta mail those rams, and I still leaked a bunch of lives. Okay, let's just get the Axes of Web Monkey to see if it makes any difference at all. In the meantime, we can read what Psychotic Apex Arachnid does. No balloon can ever escape my presence. Never did, never will. Is it as deadly as the description makes it out to be, or is it just another tier 5 fraud? Well, guess we'll find out. And how is the difference? Okay, we, bar we still barely edged out. Being that first ZMG. The save up to the Paragon is looking bleak, unfortunately, because even for round 92 here, things are making last bend. Probably have to drop another tower down at some point. I'm also deathly scared about DDTs, but we seem to be fine for it. 93 at least. And yep, I'm already leaking to round 94 here, so I think that settles it. Let's get an actual tower. Considering mobs are the biggest issue, we gotta go for the carpet. Carpet is love, carpet is life. And I guess I should have known, considering if if my closest comparison to the Web Monkey was the Lugan era, it makes sense that I shouldn't be able to solo with the tower, because it's not like you can really solo very well with Gunners uh, in the first place. I mean, although, to be fair, Solver would wipe, like, all three of these combined, I'm pretty sure. Especially on a map like this. 
So maybe there is some merit to expecting a little bit more out of these, but again, it's probably the, it's most likely the, the synergy that's really kicking the tower down a notch. Anyways, there's 98. Shouldn't be too bad, right, considering we already have super glue at home. Yep, everything is all fine and dandy so far. See you guys in a uh, couple dozen rounds when I hopefully will be able to afford the Paragon. Took a little bit longer than I'd like, but I think if we sell everything, I will finally have the money for the Paragon this round. So let's see. Uh, yep, 677. So overall, we have like only 2 million pops on the White Monkey. All right, fine. Just because I'm already here, I'll drop just a couple upgrades down to up the degree a little bit more. At minimum degree 20 would be nice. Maybe even 40. Let's go, though. Get the Web Paragon, 25. And now that I look at it quite closely, it very much resembles, uh, I don't know, kind of like the Glue Storm's backpack. Let's just go. And indeed it is. Indeed it is. Shooting out giant black cobwebs, just like the top half. And now it doesn't have anything to worry about in terms of, like, glue overriding, because it's the only web monkey on the field. I st I'll still see a couple of light spikes occasionally. Not sure what it's from, but... Yep. That's a Paragon, all right. This is what separates the big boys from the small boys. Uh, it doesn't look like its bad damage lacks, however. I say it lacks, but still pops it pretty quickly. Well, it pretty quickly as in, like, what, halfway? Maybe not looking good for around 140, but... Certainly clears the way for it every round before that, right? Yep, so I'd pretty much say this Paragon does fit the theme pretty well. It does incorporate all the pathing. The the bottom path being the stunning, the top path being the damage, middle path being just a sheer amount of webs that's producing. And at this point, we've pretty much seen everything we need to see because it pretty much it skills every blown in sight, or at least stuns them first before it skilling them, so... Uh, Alright, last round I want to see. Round 140. Can we do the F-bed damage? Yes or no? Looks like each tick of the web is only doing only doing 500 damage, with no other way to increase that amount. So seeing that also the webs only are dropped within the range of the Paragon, I think it's going to stop doing damage to this for a little bit. And that's definitely going to be the dagger that will end this run. GG, I hope you guys enjoyed the Tower Showcase. And once again, shout out to Jane for making the mod. As always, thank you for watching, and click here for more.